He's got to control himself, constrain himself, because well, you, now you I'm going, both I'm going to put you health. Are, okay. You both Let of you are with speaking him, eating okay? time. He you both of you are speaking. You both are. David, okay, David. Speaking, don't interject so he doesn't use the eating. You, you are eating time. Don't blame me for anything that I'm eating okay, time. Can I get to Why my question? Why are you eating time for my eating time? When you both are speaking time, then you are not eating time. At that time, you are not eating time. There goes again. TikTok, time to rock. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon to everyone who's watching from all around the world. I'm your friendly neighborhood philosopher, David Wood. With me now, we have two friends here. We have the Assyrian Encyclopedia himself, Sam Shamoon. Hmm. How you doing, Sam? By the grace and mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ, surviving, and I pray the Lord Jesus will be glorified through us. Lord Jesus, cleanse us in his blood, fill us with the Holy Spirit, and save us from error to speak truth for the glory of Jesus in Jesus' name. Son of God, be glorified. Yep, survive me, man. Well, it was a rough day today, but we, we expect satanic attacks, right? Yeah, and uh, we expect you not to be complaining about them all the time. You got it. <laughs> and we also have Dr. Shuaib Syed, uh, all the way from, from India. And uh, so it is very early in the morning for him. All of these programs that we've been doing have been very early in the morning for Dr. Shuaib. I think we've been starting at, at 5 o'clock in the morning where he's at. So, Dr. Shuaib, how are you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. All praise be to God. Alhamdulillah. I'm fine, mashallah. And um, so what we're going to do now, uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that everyone who's watching right now has been following the series but basically what we've been doing is um at, at first this was uh i forget like maybe almost two weeks ago or something like that we had a uh discussion slash debate between uh between sam and dr shuaib on the prophethood of muhammad and then dr shuaib wanted to return for some further discussion and he requested a longer presentation so the first day that we had recently a few days ago uh, Dr. Schwab gave an hour and 20 minute long presentation, and then we followed that up the next day with discussion of some of his points. And then last night we had Sam Shamoon give a presentation that was a response to uh, Dr. Schwab's points. And tonight we'll be going into a little more detail on those points. Dr. Schwab will have an opportunity to address Sam's points. And it's uh, it's good because Sam only made a couple of points. Uh, and the points he made were, were basically, uh, one, that the Quran actually affirms the inspiration and reliability of the Jewish and Christian scriptures. And so that was one point. And the other point he made was that if we, if we take the Muslim sources seriously, we have to trust Paul and not condemn Paul. There's also the issue that had come up previously that we said we would eventually return to, and that is the issue of Mutta. Um, we're going to go through this tonight. Uh, since Sam gave a, you know, since Sam had an hour to present, I'm going to give Dr. Shuaib, uh, who wants to start on the issue of what the Quran says about the Bible, what the Quran says about the Bible, I'm going to give Dr. Shuaib eight to ten minutes to respond to Sam, and then and then Sam can respond, and then we'll have some interaction on that before we move on to uh, some of the other points that were made. So if everyone is ready, if everyone is ready, I'm going to uh, pull up, I'm going to change the screen to what um, Dr. Schwab is transmitting me to me right now through Skype, which is his PowerPoint. And all right, Dr. Schwab, you have uh, eight to 10 minutes for your response on the issue of what the Quran says about the Bible. Okay, thank you, thank you. Alhamdulillah, salatu wassalam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in fa'u billahi min ash-shaytani rajim bismillahi wa rahmani wa rahim. Let me tell you that Muslims believe in all the revelations that were sent to mankind from Allah SWT. Muslims, based on Quran and Hadith, believe Torah was the Wahi revelation revealed to Moses peace upon him in his Hebrew language, because Hebrew was the language of Moses. Zabur was the Wahi revelation revealed to Daud peace upon him in his Hebrew language. Even his language was Hebrew. Injil was the Wahi 
revelation revealed to Jesus is upon him in, in his language, maybe Aramaic or Hebrew. And the Quran, the last wahi and revelation revealed to Muhammad is upon him in his Arabic language. So we believe in all the revelations that were sent by God Almighty to different prophets. Moses, Torah was sent to Moses, peace upon him. Zabur was sent to Daud, peace upon him. Injil was sent to Jesus, peace upon him. And Quran, the last revelation from Prophet Muhammad. We believe in all the revelations that came from God. We believe that. Now, what is Bible? You tell us, and Christian tell us, Bible is authored by 40 different human authors. 40 different human authors in a period of 14 centuries. From Moses' time till after Jesus and after Jesus' time, some 14 centuries, the books came into existence in different periods. Many of the authors, we do not know who were they. We don't know who were they. For example, 1 Samuel, author unknown. We don't know who is the author. 2 Samuel, author unknown. We don't know who is the author. 2 Kings, author unknown. We don't know who is the author. 2 Kings, 1 King, author unknown. We can find this Collins Revised Standard version of the Bible, 1917, uh, 1971, page 12 to 17, you can find it. Book of Hebrews in New Testament. Scholars are unanimous, author unknown. We don't know who is the author. They attribute to Paul, but mostly scholars are unanimous that author unknown. Now you can make, you can know Wahi from a human books. You can make out Wahi from other books by human beings. Wahi is different and the other books written by man is different. Yesterday, while answering Psalm 137.9 about happy are those who dash their little children on rocks, explaining this away, you mentioned, me, you mentioned means David mentioned, you mentioned Bible is not like the Quran. Bible is not like the Quran. That every word is not spoken by God in the Bible. Every word is not spoken in the Bible. And I say you are right. You recognize well. Bible is different from the Quran. Quran, we believe that every letter, every word is from God Almighty. Bible is different. Bible has human words also. Man speaking, God, God it is inspired by God, but we believe that it is man's, man's words also. Torah, Zabur, and Injil, which was revealed to prophets, Torah, Zabur, and Injil, were like the Quran, every word from God. Torah, Zabur, and Injil was like the Quran, that every word, every letter was from the from God. They were unlike Bible. Torah, Zabur, and Injil were unlike Bible. A Bible as a human book, written by human beings, but Torah, Zabur, and Injil revealed by God Almighty to its prophets. These are different books. For example, Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse number 5 to 7. Deuteronomy is the fifth book, fifth book uh, attributed to Moses. Deuteronomy is the last book. First five books of the Bible is considered Torah, according to the Christians, attributed to Moses. Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse number 5 to 7 says, So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died. Is this Moses speaking? No, Moses is not speaking. Moses, the servant of the Lord, died. And there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, over against Beth Peor. But no man knoweth of his sepulchre unto this day. Which day? This day means later in period. This day. Nobody knows the sepulchre. Verse number seven. And Moses was an 120 years old when he died. Is this Moses speaking? Moses is not speaking this. Moses was and 120 years old when he died. His eyes was not dim, nor his natural force abated. So it is not the book of even Moses. In Moses is not speaking. How can you say that this is a book of God? It is not a book of even Moses. Another verse, Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse number 10. And there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. There arose not a prophet since in his sight, like unto Moses. Who is speaking? Somebody else after Moses is speaking. Moses is not speaking. Somebody else is speaking. Whom the Lord knew face to face. This is not even Moses speaking. How can you attribute this to God? 
Now about the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Injil was the way he revealed to Jesus, as I said. Injil was the way he revealed to Jesus was upon him. And not to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Injil was not revealed to Matthew. Injil was not revealed to Mark. Injil was not revealed to Luke, nor, nor to John. Injil was revealed to Jesus was upon him. Not to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were written 35 to 110 years after Jesus Christ. So these books, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, comes into existence later in period, after Jesus Christ. 35 to 110 years after Jesus Christ. First gospel was gospel according to Mark, then Matthew, Luke, and John. But it was later in period. So Jesus' time, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John did not exist. So Jesus, in Matthew chapter 9, verse number 35, Mark chapter 8, verse number 35, Luke chapter 20, verse number 1. Jesus says, Jesus preached the gospel. He went to a certain place and he preached the gospel. He went to a certain place and he preached the gospel. He went to a certain place and he preached the gospel. What gospel was he preaching? These were not there. These, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John were not present at that time. It was not existing. So what gospel he was preaching? Definitely the gospel revealed to him, he was preaching that. And he says in John chapter 5, verse number 30, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. For I seek not my will, but the will of the Father who sent me. So he's saying that he's hearing from God, not Tom, from Tom, Dick, and Harry. Whatever he heard from God, we say that is the Injil. And also in John chapter 12, verse number 49, it says, For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me. He gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. So he's saying clearly that he's not speaking of his own. Father is revealing things. So whatever he revealed, God Almighty revealed to Jesus, that is the Injil. Injil is different from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Be clear. This is quite clear. Injil is different from Matthew, Mark, and John. Can you see Injil is different from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John now? Yeah, Injil is different. Okay. So Quran confirms all the revelation. Torah, it confirms Torah. It confirms Zabur. It confirms, it confirms Injil, not Bible. Quran does not confirm Bible. Quran does not mention Old Testament. Quran does not come confirm Old Testament or New Testament. Bible, Old Testament and New Testament, these are not there in the Quran. The words Bible, it is not there in the in the Quran. Old Testament, if you translate in Arabic, Qadim Ahadnama, even Qadim Ahadnama is not there in the Quran. Na Ahadnama, New Testament, even Na Ahadnama, New Testament is not there in the Quran. So by Quran confirms Torah, Zabur, and Injil, not Bible, Old Testament, and New Testament. Bible is not there in the Bible itself. Bible is not there in the Bible itself. What, what do you want to know the Bible exists in the Quran? Bible is not there in the Quran. Bible is not there in the Bible itself. The word Bible does not, is not in existence in the Bible. The word Bible doesn't exist in the Bible. Now, when Paul was writing his letters to his different churches to solve the problems they faced, Paul was writing letters to different churches. He went to a certain place and he preached and he found a church there and he uh, moved to another place. Dr. Shweb. Yes. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's uh, since you're since you're starting to talk about Paul now, let's go ahead and save that. We'll address uh, yeah. Sam can address the points you've made and then we can and then we can uh, and then you can continue. Uh, on with Paul. So let me no, get. I, I from Paul. Paul, this is just on scripture. Okay. Well, you, you, can, you can you can also you can also make points on on Paul in the discussion of the uh, in the scriptures yeah, the scriptures the in in general. Um, but okay. So Sam, um, Dr. Yes. Schwab has had uh, about ten minutes there. So you yeah. presented your case yesterday for what the Quran is confirming, and you argued that the Quran is affirming the Bible. Uh, Dr. Shuaib has pointed out that the Quran affirms particular things and names them, the Torah, the Zabur, and mm -hmm. the Injil, but not 
the Bible. Uh, how do you yeah. respond? Yeah, and this is where we're going to interact, right? So he's going to have to answer my questions, I answer his, right? Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Now, let me correct the misinformation because he's parroting Ahmadidat. Guys, I want you to hear two things he said. He said the word Bible is not in the Quran. The word Bible is not in the Bible. Both are lies. Both are wrong. The word Bible, here, I'm going to give you Encyclopedia Americana. The word Bible comes from the Greek word Biblos or Biblos. The inner bark enclosing the pitch of the papyrus plant from which paper was made in ancient times. The diminutive plural Biblia was viewed as singular in Latin and from this came the modern English word. So let me correct him and I'm going to show you now in the Bible the word Bible used. And I'm going to show him in the Quran the word Bible used. Contrary to the misinformation of Ahmadidat. Now, remember what it said. The word Bible comes from Latin Biblia which comes from Greek, Biblia, which comes from Biblos, and it means book. In Greek, Biblos means book, Biblia means books. Now, let me correct his misinformation. The Bible does call itself the Bible. Here you go, John 20, verse 30. John 20, verse 30. And truly, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. Now, here's the Greek. And to... Biblio Tautu, literally not written in this Bible. So John in Greek called the Gospel of John the Bible. Acts 1 verse 20, for it is written in the book of Psalms. Guess what the Greek is? Biblio. It is written in the Bible of the Psalms. Acts 7 42. Then God turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven and as is written in the book of the prophets, en biblo ton profiton. En biblo ton profiton. Literally, the Bible of the prophets. Galatians 3.10. <clears throat> All the things which are written in the book of the law. En to <clears throat> biblio tu nomu. Tu nomu. In the Bible of the law. Finally, for the sake of time. Jesus to John, Revelation 1, verses 10 to 11. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice as of the trumpet saying, What you see, write in a book. Graphon is Biblion. Graphon is Biblion. Jesus telling John, write in a Bible and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia. Revelation 22, verses 18 to 19. For I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. Guess what the word book is again, Dr. Say it. To Bibliu, the Bible, in this Bible. Then again, all the plagues that are written in this book. And to Biblio, in this Bible. And then again, and if anyone takes away words of the book of this prophecy, to Bibliu, to Bibliu, the Bible of the prophets. And finally, written in this book, and to Biblio Tautu. Here you see the word Bible used four times in two verses. This Bible, Revelation. This Bible, this Bible, this Bible. So you're wrong. Stop parroting Ahmadidat. Go hear our answers. The Bible calls itself the Bible. So now here's where you get refuted again. Because the Greek word, Bibla, simply means book. I don't expect the Arabic Quran to use the word Bible. What I expect the Arabic Quran to use is kitab. Kitab. Because why? In Greek, the word book is biblos. Plural, biblia. If I want to look for the word Bible in Arabic, I don't look for Bible. I look for the word kitab, kutub. And guess what, Dr. Sayyid? It says in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 113, that the Jews and the Christians read Kitab. Guess what that would be in Greek, Dr. Sayyid? It would be Biblos, and they both read the Bible. And then in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 285, it says that the messenger and the believers believe in the Kutub, Kutub, the books. Guess what that would be in Greek, Dr. Sayyid? It would be Biblia. So you're wrong on both counts. The Quran mentions the Bible, and the Bible mentions the Bible, but you're looking for the wrong word. Bible is simply the transliteration of Latin Biblia. Biblia comes from the Greek Biblia, from Biblos, which means book. And the Greek that the New Testament is written in, 
It uses Biblos, Biblia, and the Arabic equivalents, Kitab, so you're wrong. Now, do you want to correct yourself before I go to the next point? No, let me correct you. Bible, the word you are using, Bible is a proper name. Proper name does not get translated. Proper name is always used with the proper name, same word. Where you Bible, get that when you say Bible, Bible, when I understand Bible, Bible is a book from Genesis to Revelation. This, this particular word, word by, uh, book is not used for Genesis to Revelation. So proper yes, name, is. proper name and generic name is a different thing. So you are using generic name as a proper name. Proper name, the, when the okay. book is... Uh, used, say it. When, Let me interact with you. When the, when, the, the, when the kitab is there, when the kitab mentioned in the, in the Quran, Qutub mentioned, that is in generic term. It is not a proper name. Proper name referring to by... Like you're saying, this Genesis is time to, to interact, so let me from Genesis, interact. From Genesis so to Revelation. You were talking about... Over. Let, let, let Dr. Say, no, no, wait, no, no, wait, 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 Sam, no, Sam, Sam, just let him finish let this point, and then you can jump in there. Uh, I just wanted to hear yeah, what he's saying. Go on to another point. Yeah. Well, yeah, but he was, he was, he, he, he talked about the, 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 the word Bible being used, uh, uh, you know, from he the... He says it's from, a proper name, and it shouldn't be translated. I want him to quote the source. Give me the source that says... Don't give me your opinion. I don't care for your opinion. It is, give me the source that says it's a proper name that can't be translated. Quote it. Give me the source. See, you're, suppose you're Mr. Black. Can you translate Mr. Black in Mr. Kala? Mr. Aswab? Give me the source that says you can't this translate is common, the word Bible this is, as well. this is common sense. This is common Where? sense. Give me if the source. If you're Mr. Black, you cannot translate the name into Mr. Kala, Mr. Aswad in different language. Proper name does not get translated. Proper name... When, when no, John, you're incorrect. When John, when John chapter 20, verse number 30 says, many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which were not written in this book. In this book, which book? In this book, the John, John book, not Bible, from Genesis to Revelation. What you have Bible on the cover is Genesis to Revelation. This is not referring to that book. When this says this book, this refers to John. Not all the book, not all the book from Genesis Can to I Revelation. Now, Dr. You're, che you're cheating. You're cheating. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, Sam. Let, let me let me just uh, let, let let me just ask a quick question he's here. He's going to keep ranting. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Let, let yeah, I just want to ask a, a quick question. So, um, so Christians have historically have used the term Bible to refer to the collection of scriptures, and then in the Quran, Jews and Christians are called the people of the book, readers of the book. No. Uh, so, Doctor Syed, uh, which book, which book is the Quran affirming that Christians and Jews have? If, if it's not, if it's not talking about the Bible we have today, but it's saying that they're Torah, people of the book. To, Torah, Zabur, and Injil. Yeah, Torah, I'll come back Zabur, to that. Yeah. Okay, I'll come back to that. But here, okay. now I want. Okay, number one, you didn't hear what I said. I read a passage that calls the entire Old Testament the Bible, but you didn't hear it because you're too excited to try to prove me wrong. But now I want to now use your argument. Remember what you said, Luke 6, 41, the beams and the splinter, and don't raise up issues in my book that I can turn against your book. Now, here's my challenge to you, because you said, John just said, this book, not the entire scripture. Here's my challenge, and say, please, hear my challenge carefully. Please, hear my challenge, because oftentimes that's a question, you don't answer it, you think you're answering it. Can I want you to open up your Quran, and I want you to show me in your Quran, where your Quran says... The Quran was sent down, and it has 114 chapters, and it names what those 114 chapters are, because there are chapters in the Quran that do not say they're sent down, and do not even say they're part of the Quran. So when you say Quran, you're assuming 114 chapters. So here's my challenge. Please, my challenge is very simple. I want you to go to your Quran, open the Quran, and show me where it says, Allah sent down this Quran, and this Quran is 114 surahs. Show me that the Quran says, all of it's the Quran and what all of it is. Please quote it. Show me. You quote me in the Bible. The Bible says that Bible consists of Genesis to Revelation, quoting the, mentioning the, all the scriptures. That wasn't Genesis, my question. Exodus, uh, just Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, till Je Revelation. You quote me from the Bible. The Bible mentions that Bible is from Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. After you quote me, uh, then I will quote you from the Quran. No, not really. I'm showing you what you said yesterday. Remember your own criterion? Let me remind you, because now you're running from your criterion. You no. quoted Luke 6.41. You quoted Luke 6.41. Luke 6.41. This is what you said. You said that I shouldn't be bringing problems in your Quran if there are similar problems in my Bible. I'm not turning it against you. You're using an argument against me 
that if you're consistent and honest and not a liar, and I'm, I assume you're consistent, now you're going to see it now creates more problems for you. So don't tap dance. I'm using your argument. You remember? That's what you brought up against me. So I'm going to repeat the question again. Open the Quran. Show me where the Quran says all of this is from Allah and all of it is under 14 chapters. The entire Quran is from Allah sent down and the entire Quran is 114 chapters. Don't run from your own argument that you use against me. I'm not using it against you. Please answer. Same, same argument is against you also. Show me in the Bible. Okay, the Bible good. says that it is from Genesis to Revelation, naming, naming all the books. Yeah. But what yeah, I'm saying, your Quran does John, that for me. One minute, John chapter 20 was number 30. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of several, which are not written in this book. Which book is talk, talking about? Which book John is talking about? John is talking about John Genesis to it? Revelation. Okay, do you admit that John just called that gospel the Bible? Do you admit that? No, I'm... No, it didn't call Bible. No, it yes, didn't call Bible. It didn't call okay, Bible. Here's the Greek. This is a, Into Biblio, tell to. This is the generic name. This is the generic name. This is common name, attributive Into name. It's not a proper name. To. No, no, no. Hey, I, will accept, I will not accept. I will not accept. Yeah, um, because it's not yes. a Yeah, oh, I'm... This, this word book is used okay. as a generic name, not a proper name. Okay. You're I'll, cheating. Uh, You're cheating. Yeah, doctor. This book. Yeah, Doctor Said. You have the generic name, not the name. Yeah, Doctor Doctor Said. So, so uh, yeah, I'm I'm a little confused here. So, so Christians refer to their book as the book, and obviously they can refer to individual books as the books. But then the Quran comes along, and Muhammad comes along, and he's talking about this book that the Christians have, and he says that Christians are reading the book, the book. and that they have to judge by the book, and that they have no ground to stand upon unless they stand upon the book so this is talking about christians in the seventh century saying that they're reading the book uh saying that they have to judge by the book saying that they have no ground to stand upon unless they stand upon this book if you were to say any of these things to a christian we would assume that you're 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 using the term to refer to this to the same book that that we're familiar with if allah means something else and he's saying hey i'm not affirming the book that you actually have the book that you're reading the, the book that you have between your hands. I'm not affirming that book. I'm affirming something that you don't have, or I'm just affirming parts of it. Um, where are you getting that from the scriptures? Because I mean, I mean, just think about it. If I if I came up to if I came up to you as a Muslim and I said, "Hey, I'm a, I'm affirming the Quran. I'm affirming the Quran." You Muslim, I want you to believe in the Quran, read the Quran, judge by the Quran. You have no ground to stand upon unless you stand upon the Quran. And suppose, you know, years later, someone came up and said, well, David affirmed the Quran. I said, no, I don't. I, the, the word Quran just means recitation. So I'm just affirming some random recitations, not that book that they actually had. I think you you would agree that I would be hopelessly confusing in my language if I'm saying, hey, I'm confirming the book that you have that you're reading, and I'm not talking about that. And so if Allah is affirming, if Allah and Muhammad, because I mean, I mean, I mean keep in mind, as, as, as Sam pointed out, in the Hadith in Sunan Abu Dawud, Muhammad, when he's talking about what the Torah is, he tells the Jews, bring me the Torah. So he's talking about the, the scripture that they actually have and can physically produce and put forward. If he's talking to the Christians in the same way, we know what Christians, we know what Christians mean by the Injil, the gospel. And so um and so I, I, I would just like to I would just like to know for purposes of clarification, if you don't think that the Quran is affirming the scriptures that we have um at the book that we have if you say hey people of the book read your book you have to judge by your book and i say oh here's my book the bible and you're saying no no, no not that book it's affirming some what exactly is allah affirming and it, you know please don't just say oh the 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 injil because if you mean something different from the injil that we have that doesn't make any sense of the scripture because exactly. because he says the, we have the injil we read the injil we have to judge by the injil we have no ground to stand upon unless we stand upon the injil so if he's talking about something else it it, it make it it, it, would, it would it would be like again it would be like me saying you muslims judge by the quran you say okay here's my quran i say no no i'm, talk, I'm not talking about that i'm talking about some other quran well, it, it, you just you just be confused. You say, "What are you what are you even talking about?" So, could you please sort of describe where do we go to to find these these uh, these specific revelations that the Quran is affirming as the inspired, preserved, incorruptible Word of God that Jews and Christians are supposed to judge by, and that we have no ground to stand upon ap apart from these things? Okay, you quoted Surah Maida, chapter five, verse number sixty-eight. Kuliyah halal kitab, lastum ala shayin hatta tukimu tawrata wal inji. 
say o oh, people of the book you have no ground to stand upon unless you stand by the law that is torah and the gospel that is injil so quran is referring to torah revealed to prophet moses is upon him that torah that word of god every letter is word of god that torah is quran is referring injil is referring re revealed to jesus is upon him every letter from god not matthew mark luke and john that came after jesus christ after 35 40 50 years 100 years after not that matthew mark luke and john did not exist and jesus is preaching the gospel jesus in his lifetime is preaching the gospel mark chapter 8 verse number 835 mark matthew chapter 9 verse 35 luke chapter 20 verse number 1 he went to certain place and he preached the gospel he is preaching the gospel what gospel was he preaching he was preaching the gospel revealed to him so that is the injil that is the injil matthew mark luke and john is not the injil very clear matthew mark luke and john is not the injil matthew mark luke and john is a human written book written by human book injil is revealed from god almighty word to word letter to letter to prophet jesus that was the injil and at that time when when the verse says that you are you do not stand lastum ala shayna hatta tuqim at-torat wal injil and the quran is asking you to stand on torat and injil and the context of this verse is this that the jews the ahli kitab they came to prophet muhammad asking him don't your scripture speaks about a scripture so prophet said yes it speaks about your scripture so he said why don't you believe that so he said that your bible is corrupted your book is corrupted your torah is corrupted now it is not there so they said that we will believe what we will follow what we follow and you follow what you follow we will not believe on that context this was of reveal to the ahl alka tell the people of the book lastum ala shay you are not on your nothing hatta tuqim at-torat wal injil in theory you are not on anything unless you follow the torah and injil in theory not in practice it is not practice and torah and injil if it is said it doesn't mean that it has to be a book only it is just it can be without book also in memory because torah injil quran zabur it is in memory it remains in memory so even if it is in memory it doesn't require any book but i am not i am not adamant maybe at that time at the time of prophet muhammad a copy of torah was available with the jews a copy of injil was available with the christians that is possible very much possible i am not denying that but what i say torah we know that it was it came in the book form but we do not have any historical evidence anything that jesus wrote his script wrote his injil revealed to him he made our people to write his injil revealed to him that record is not there so when it says hatta tuqim at-torat wal injil it is not referring to genesis exodus leviticus number deuteronomy when it says injil it is not referring to matthew mark luke and john it is referring to the torah and the buri the injil revealed to him suppose the jewish the okay jewish, can we have time limits because one, 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 yeah, one, 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 yeah. one minute one minute one minute one minute jews they use let him let one, him finish one minute one minute one minute why are you interrupting so yeah. they use for old testament the term they use for tanakh they use tanakh for dora nabim kutubim tanakh the word tanakh is not used here in the quran jews they use the word tanakh tanakh is not used in the quran in the hadith also tanakh is not used in the hadith the hadith that he quoted the word is used torah torah revealed to prophet moses that is the torah i am making very very clear i am making very clear torah is revealed to moses injil revealed to jesus that is very clear so don't okay. mix up don't mix up don't you know, mix okay. up the okay. word of god with human word of god don't mix up injil with human word of god no Okay, so Sam, hey, uh, Dave, do me a favor, man. What's up? Do me a favor. Hmm. Uh, it's interaction. This guy wants to preach and give speeches. That way, he's going to say too much and eat up the time. He's oh. got to control himself, constrain himself, because no, you, now you I'm going. I'm going to put are, hills. Okay. You both Let of you are speaking your eating time. Yeah, you both of you are speaking. You both are. David, hey, David speaking, don't interject so he doesn't use. Why eating? You you are eating time. Don't blame me for anything that I'm eating okay, time. Okay, can I get to Why my question? Why are you eating time for eating time? When you both yeah. are speaking time, then you are not eating time. At that time, you are not eating time. Okay, okay, now let me get to my question. Let You're me get to, to the question. And don't and don't help me, Dave, because he doesn't use his excuse. Okay. I'm now going to challenge and embarrass you in front of everyone. Show me a single verse in your Quran. Listen and do not give me a 20-minute speech. Show me where the Quran says. Pay attention, because you're going to tap dance again. The Torah was given to Moses. Okay. Give me the verse. Give me the verse that says, "And we gave the Torah to Musa." 
give me the verse, not book. Don't show me the book was given to Moses. Show me where it says Torah was given to Moses in those exact words. Go ahead. Show it to me. See, see I said in my presentation, I said in my presentation, Muslims based on Quran and Hadith, Muslims based on Quran and Hadith believe Torah of the Wahi revelation. So it is not there that it should be in Quran only, it, it can be in, Wahi, in Hadith also. So that is not really. So you admit you can't find it in the Quran, right? So I, I am not, I will not be able to find it now. Maybe later no, on. No, you I won't find it. it. It's not there. Okay. No, it, now, is not there. it is not there. It is yeah. not there. But we know. We know that more. All right, we got it. Okay. Let me get to the next point. Okay. You yes. misquoted. That, okay. You must miss. No, 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 Dr. Shweb, it's okay. He, he, he made a minor point and you, you agreed with that part. So Sam, what are you, where are you going with that? Now, the second thing, you misinterpreted the context of 568. I have it in front of me. You said that when the Jews came to Muhammad, they said, do you confirm our scriptures? Everyone heard you say, yes, I do, but you've corrupted it. Can you show me where he said you corrupted your scriptures? I have the narration in front of me. What, 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 what is your question? Okay, He's, you uh, said in Surat Al-Maidah, let me repeat it, Dave, I get Surat Al-Maidah, chapter 5, verse 68, chapter 5, verse 68, you said that the context here is that the Jews came to him and the Christians said, Muhammad, do you believe our scriptures? He goes, yes. yes. So then yes. what's the problem? Because you corrupted those scriptures. Show me where it says, he said, you corrupted those scriptures. Show me that. Chapter 2 of number 75. No, that's not it. You said the Hadith. I'll get to 275. Everyone heard you. Let me repeat chapter what you two. said. Let me repeat what you said. Don't cut me yeah. off. Chapter you 2 said, of 75. Chapter 2 of 75 can, says No, it that doesn't say that. No. Doesn't. Can, you, can you let me make my point? Can, you can said, I read for you? Can no, I read can, for you 275? Dave, this guy, he's not going to control himself. Yeah, uh, yeah so, 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 well, you, yeah, the, you the, the, that it is not Dr. Dr. Schwab, Dr. Schwab, when you were discussing Surah 5, verse 68, it sounded like you were talking about the historical background for Surah 5, verse 68, and you said that the historical background was that Muhammad told them that their scriptures were corrupted. So Sam is saying, where did he say that? And your, your response is Surah 275. So this isn't the history. So you're saying that Surah 2 verse 75 is the historical background for Surah 5 verse 68? Okay, the historical background. Right now, I don't have that historical reference. Okay, background. all right, that's good. Now let me move to but, my next point. But, 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 but he's, chapter uh, 2 of 75. Chapter two of seventy five mentions we'll about get, the corruption okay, of Torah. Okay, yeah, that, that, we'll let, yeah, that, let, that's fine. Let me yeah. let, no, 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 no. I'm, no I'm, just, I'm just saying we 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 could we we will get to Surah two verse seventy five. That's fine. Sam was asking about the historical context, and you pointed out that you weren't talking about the historical context. So let's let Sam finish. But if if you want to talk about Surah two verse seventy five, that is a yeah, valid yeah, point. That's a valid point in this discussion. So we'll definitely get to it. But go go, go ahead and finish uh, because uh, I want to know, I want to know where you were going, Sam. Yeah, because now remember, I want everyone to hear what he did. Because I'm going to use this criterion against him. Guys, pay attention. He's getting very animated, but pay attention. He said, it's not, we Muslims don't just follow the Quran. It's also the Quran. We go to the Hadith, and that's in the Hadith where it says, Torah given to Moses. Now, watch what's going to happen to his argument. He said, the gospel is the gospel given to Jesus, not to John. Sirat Rasulullah, Ibn Ishaq, edited by Ibn Hisham. In the English translation, The Life of Muhammad, a translation of Ibn Ishaq, Sirat Rasulullah, and this comes through Ibn Hisham. Now, guys, please pay attention because I know he's going to pretty much ignore what I'm about to say. Ibn Hisham, when he edited Ibn Ishaq, he removed stuff he didn't like, but he kept this in. Folks, he kept this part in, meaning that not only Ibn Ishaq confirmed it, Ibn Hisham confirmed it. Look what I'm going to read to you because you just told everyone the gospel of Jesus, not Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And yet you quoted Mark and Matthew to show us what the gospel of Jesus is. Interesting. But anyway. Among the things which have reached me about what Jesus, the son of Mary, stated in the gospel which you received from God for the followers of the gospel, Ahl al -Injil, in applying a term to describe the apostle of God, is the following. It is extracted from what John, the apostle, set down for them when he wrote the gospel for them from the testament of Jesus, son of Mary. In case you didn't hear it, uh, say it. When John wrote the gospel so just like you had muhammad scribes writing down the verses for him here ibn ishaq and ibn Hisham confirm you're wrong because john did write down the gospel that god gave to jesus so now why did you say that these gospels are not the gospel of jesus when your earliest sources say you're wrong 
John wrote the gospel that God gave to Jesus. He wrote it down for Ahlul Injil. 